Hey guys, welcome back to Gain She Plans. Um, I'm filming an intro to a video. <laughs> this is gonna be possibly a long one if I remember to film all the clips, uh, but definitely long in that you're gonna be following me for the next three, four weeks as we go through the process of moving. Um, if you've been following the channel, then I'm sure by now, by the time this video is going live, um, I will have giving you some of the details as they go along, um, but this one is the moving vlog. Uh, I'm filming this clip on October 12th. I gave notice to my job uh, on Monday. Uh, this is a Wednesday, so I'm still working from home right now. Um, I'm going to do uh, a very, very quick... <laughs> Don't look at that. It's a mess in here. It's a mess in the entire house. Um, and I don't know all the details yet, but hopefully the moving people are going to help us with the moving um, and make that not quite as much of a daunting task. I've got to work for, for two and a half more weeks. And then sometime in that first week of November, um, the movers are going to pack up our stuff for us and take it to a temporary place. Um, we just last night signed a contract with our realtor to put this house on um, a coming soon listing. Um, so, you know, I'm not sure if offers come from that or if they have to wait until we're ready to like, we're definitely, nobody's coming inside. Nobody's going to even like take pictures of the inside because it's a mess as you see. Um, but yeah, right now there's a lot that's kind of up in the air. I think I really want the details from like the moving relocation company. Um, oh yeah, so I'm assuming that you've like been following along with this channel, but if you have not, my husband got a new job offer. He wasn't really looking for it, but they approached him. He gave them a number that he didn't think they would go for, but they did. And as a result, I get to stay home with the kids. So I'm quitting my job. We're moving closer to my parents. Um, about an hour and a half away, and I'm going to do my very best to not dox myself. So you're not going to get too many details. Um, but yeah, this is just going to be a little bit of a messy view of what all that looks like. And mostly my mental state throughout all of it. And right now, like every so often, I, I get like shocks of realizing what we're about to embark on and it makes me go <gasps> <laughs> but in between I'm I'm oscillating between sad that we have to leave all of our friends and our daughter's school and excited for the future I'm very excited to get to stay home with the kids I'm getting more and more excited about the school possibility that we have lined up we're going to be touring this weekend so I'll try to get some clips of that and um It's it's a lot and it's gonna be a lot. I was gonna film some clips over our weekend trip to go see like houses and schools and stuff, but I didn't. So it's gonna be more of a journal style, diary style, confessional style um, vlog, I guess, where I tell you what happened instead of showing you. Um, but I have feelings too, so um, I am now back at work um, here in our home office. Things are. You know, my husband's trying to um, sell a lot of his collectibles before we move so that we have less stuff to move. Uh, he is done with work now, but I still have two more weeks. So he's here um, and I am here. And yeah, I got um, locked out of our software at work this morning and I had to email them and tell them I'm still here for two more weeks. <laughs> um, it was just an oversight and they got it fixed right away. So I'm here trying to get stuff done and trying not to get too distracted by all the other stuff in my head. Really what I need to know is like how the moving company wants us to prepare for them. And I haven't gotten a huge amount of information um, from them, but my husband's reaching out um, to get some of that. I just kind of want to know like, first of all, like are there, what does furnished mean? How many things do I need to be ready to bring? But also like, how, are they gonna give us boxes in, in advance so that we can start doing some packing ourselves? I wanna be able to set aside the things that are going to storage, the things that are going to the temp place. Um, and just kind of, I just, I don't like, as a planner obviously, I don't like not knowing what the future's gonna look like. And so I have a lot of sort of diverging pathways in my mind. I'm like, if the floors have carpet, then this is how I'll set up the nursery temporarily. And I'm trying to keep things as minimal as I can. So I'm also sitting here going, how much washi tape should I bring? 
I'm going to be setting up my weeks in my planner in advance so that I can have something a little bit pretty um, that's already set up, but like I'm, I'm wondering how much stuff I'm going to regret not bringing and how much stuff I'm going to regret bringing. Um, I'd like to keep the, like I said, I want to keep the temp place pretty minimal so that I don't have to unpack too much stuff twice and or like I don't want to have boxes of stuff that we shouldn't have brought just sitting around in a potentially pretty small space. I don't know how big it's going to be. Um, we were told that they would get us a three bedroom place so that we would have room for all the kids. I don't know if that means we'll have room for all their stuff though. It's my last day of work. Um, I'm just on my lunch break so I just came out here to the car to uh, record another clip. Sorry, these are going to be really sporadic, but I could just apologize the entire video or not. Anyway, um, yeah, yesterday, um, so I work, I work from home three days a week and then in the office two days a week. So Thursday, Friday, I'm in the office. Friday, today is my last day. Yesterday they took me out to lunch. Uh, we got ramen because I was craving ramen and it was very good and it was very nice. It was, uh, you know, just kind of reminiscing over the, I've worked at this company almost 10 years. Um, so seeing people come and go and we've been in two different offices and, um, just, you know, reminiscing a little bit. I always get like sentimental about the end of anything, even if it's something that I don't particularly like, like this has been a great job for me. Um, and I feel like I'm pretty good at what I do and, you know, I like that. I like feeling competent and, um, you know, but I'm looking forward to not having to work anymore and staying home with my kids. And so like, that is a good thing but I always get sort of sentimental about the end of things. But just today, it's not too busy of a day, fortunately. It's, there's been a few things come in that I've had to work on, but mostly I've been spending my morning like shifting my headspace from still working to really need to pack because we have one more week. Um, a week from today, we should be out. And so I... Um, I have got some some notes and some lists that I've started to work on. Um, since I'm at the computer, I can I can type up a list easier than I can if I have to do it, you know, on paper. It just takes longer. So I'm doing a lot of this digitally, similar to the way I um, planned our camping trip. I just it was easier to type up the packing list and then print it out. So I think that's what I'll do again. Leave extra space for writing things. Basically, we have to split all of our stuff between stuff that's going into a storage unit temporarily and the stuff that's coming with us to a um, an apartment where we're going to be for two months uh, before we figure out where we're going after that. Like buying a house is something that we're not even thinking right now. We've toured a couple places, but right now it's like, give it a week. We'll start looking again um, once we move down there. Um, so we have to split all of our stuff in half. And so I'm thinking... What we'll do is physically moving things. It's gonna make sure we don't forget anything. I think a little bit better if we can see everything in this room is going. So we've got sticky notes, red and green ones, you know, say stay and go. When I say stay, I mean, come with us. Um, but I think what we're gonna do is say like, okay, the bedroom is, everything inside the bedroom is going. And so anything inside the bedroom right now that's not going needs to, you know, coming with us actually anyway anything inside the bedroom that's not coming with us to the apartment needs to move to a different room um like everything in the office is not coming with us so anything that is coming with us needs to get moved to the bedroom and stuff from the bedroom that's not coming with us is going to move to the office or i think everything in the living room um the pantry is coming but the rest of the kitchen is not that's the other thing is it's a furnished apartment so I don't really know what that means. Do we have to pack sheets? Do we have to pack towels? Do we have to pack plates and pans? Like Tupperware? Do we have to pack our Tupperware? Probably. Um, so th a lot of that is still up in the air. Um, even like literally where we're going to be living is not 100% pinned down yet. It's a week from now. <laughs> the movers are going to come Thursday and Friday which means that, yeah, I've got, I mean, a week from now we'll be out, which means five, six days from now, five days from now, we need to be done. We need to have everything split up. Um, and just the idea of living in a house with kids who 
are going to be trying to make messes. We'll have to say, look, like, I have to, I want to involve them in picking which toys are going to come with us to the apartment because they shouldn't all come with us. That's the thing is like, I'm hoping that this can be a sort of minimalist reset for me. Move minimal stuff with us to the apartment, unpack it very slowly so that everything has a place and it's okay if some stuff stays in boxes, stuff that shouldn't have come but did anyway does not need to get unpacked. Then when we finally move to our new house, wherever that is, again, unpack very slowly. This is my goal. Um, find a place for every single thing and get rid of stuff that we don't need. And if it's been months and we haven't looked at something, I pull it out and go, huh, yeah, I guess we don't really need this. I guess we don't need it. Um, we're trying to declutter a lot of stuff before we go, but um, I think there's going to be a lot of things that end up getting discarded and decluttered as a process of moving. Um, it's kind of like I'm going to have to physically pick up every single item we ho own to put it in our new home. So I just not, might as well take that opportunity to, you know, condo it all or, um, you know, just really reevaluate a lot of stuff. So that's where I am. Um, I was not in the packing mindset yet. And I say packing. The packing physically will be done by the movers. And that's the other thing. It's like, I, I wish I had some boxes to like put the stuff into the other room. Um, there's certain things that I'm going to want sooner than later. And some of it's going in the suitcases. And I have to have a separate suitcase for everybody because we're going to be splitting up, I think. Um, I On Saturday, we have a class birthday party to go to. I've probably mentioned this. So um, not this Saturday, like the Saturday after our move. So me and Agnes, who's invited to the party, and the baby, who needs me, are probably going to crash for a night at my in-laws Well, Gino and Bridget can go down to the hotel, stay down near the apartment. I don't know exactly what night. Everything is still up in the air, and I am trying the best I can to assert a little bit of control over it by making lists, as I always do. <laughs> I assume that everyone else is like me. Everyone watching this channel, if you resonate with that concept of trying to control what you can't control by making lists, um, then subscribe and ring the bell because you are my people. I have an address of the place that we might be moving to. I don't know. Like the, the apartment. I was given a, this is probably it, but then it's not finalized yet. So it could be somewhere else. It could be somewhere more convenient, which would be great. But I almost wish it wasn't more convenient because I have already looked up what's around that area and decided, okay, look, here's the park. Here's the library. Here's the commute. This is what time we have to leave. And and so I've got us, I, I made a little itinerary of our day because there's quite a commute involved, but it's like, at least I know what that is. Anything known at this point, I'm trying to grab onto, even though there is very little that is known. Oh, chaos. Uh, it's down to the wire. So I think I'm going to try, I keep saying this, to film more clips so that you can see some more of it. Um, and at least at this point, I have the excuse to not apologize for an incredibly messy house. We also have Halloween. Um, <laughs> That we have to do like everything's going on but um it's it's all for a good good cause so I'm excited I'm free I wasn't gonna film right now but I just got out of work I'm done I'm retired <laughs> I'm a stay-at-home mom now but the best news happened this afternoon I was telling you about the apartment that I was like tentatively figuring out distances and stuff for because it was looking like that might be where we were they found a better place they found a place that's closer to the school it's I think closer to my husband's work too but it's definitely it's closer to the school it's closer to my parents it's closer to my sister it's literally it has a, a playground um and I mean it's a little one but it's got a playground it's got a little kids room and it's next door to a public library it's so much better than the one they had picked out, which was like in a university area. And it was this like luxury place. And it was like very grown up looking, the aesthetic of it. And this place is just a bit more homey. 
I, I'm just so, so much more excited and happy. So we finally know where we're going. <laughs> um, I'm finally done with work. And so now tomorrow we have plans. Sunday is a lot of decluttering because on Monday people are coming to take stuff away. But tomorrow I'm going to see my mom at a party up here and I'm going to give her some stuff to take back because she, she, they, my dad has a garden. And so I'm going to be taking over their garden while we're living in an apartment. So some of that stuff, my seeds and stuff are going with my mom tomorrow. All right. I'm excited. I'm done with the work. I'm, I'm retired. <laughs> Here's an actual action shot. Um, I'm taking stuff out of the stressor, putting it in suitcases. Um, because we're getting rid of the dressers. Some people are coming to haul away some things we're donating tomorrow, and so we need to get all of their clothes out of here. This is something that we actually do physically have to pack. Um, I just wanted to show you, hey, look, it's really me. I'm really doing stuff. It's weird. Now it's like, uh, I'm exhausted for some reason. Well, I know why. Because number two crawled into bed with us at five in the morning, and I couldn't fall back asleep. Um, yeah, it was a busy day yesterday, trunk or treat. But now we are down to the wire. We have Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday to segregate our stuff. Uh, so this is day one of that. I don't think I filmed anything yesterday. I think I did on Sunday. I don't know. Time is simultaneously very slow and very fast. Um, I'm taking a breastfeeding break because the baby just woke up from a very good nap. Thank goodness. Today is November 1st, Tuesday. And... Um, there's no school today for my oldest. So all three kids have been here today. We were offered some help from our babysitter, um, but we didn't end up, I guess we ended up just doing okay without and um, and not calling her, which I kind of feel bad about because she wanted to see the kids. And then I realized it was already like lunchtime and we had just been doing okay. Though the girls never took their nap. We're at a point where like, I feel like I get to the end of the day, like yesterday. I know I got stuff done yesterday. I just couldn't like pinpoint what it was exactly. And we're at that point where it's not just like a full room you're getting done. It's like little bits here and there. If the movers were to come today, I think it would be fine. Um, I don't think anything major would get left behind. But I'm still trying to like, I don't want to end up with just like, boxes of trash um when we're unpacking in the new year when I get to our new place and all that so that's kind of what I'm doing I also still have not packed suitcases for the physical like move couple of days so that's I think one of the next things I need to do um fortunately I've been able to always find something that needs to get done in a room that there's nobody sleeping in um but there are still a couple of things here and there I would, my, my dream of being able to say this room is all going to one place, it's looking a little bit untenable. The girls are getting on my nerves, um, but they're doing okay, and we're just doing our best to apologize when we mess up, and they've been okay. I'm just like, if they're playing with the stuff that's going into storage, it's just going to not be organized when it gets put into boxes to go into storage. I, there's only so much they can fully understand. I'm trying to tell them, like, whatever stuffies and toys you want to play with in the apartment, you got to put them in your room. But they haven't gotten to that point. Um, I think they're just coming in right now. They went outside to collect ground cherries because they wanted a snack, and I needed them out of my hair for a minute. How many did you get? Uh, who, let's see who got the most and who did the best. Let's see. Whoa. Oh, I think I think Menon got more than you. Did you eat a bunch? Yeah. yeah. And these ones look like they, they got eaten by bugs. Oh. But 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 me and Bridget saw a ground cherry that had a fly on it. Oh boy. But it's yours. It's mine, but uh <laughs> 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 A small change of plan, I've been okay. informed okay, honey. <laughs> that the pop. movers will be boxing up the stuff that's going to the apartment, but they won't no, be moving it. Die. So that's kind of incentivizing no, us to bring even less. No, um, die, so we're working on that. Right daddy, now, I need daddy, to pack daddy, suitcases daddy, for each of us 
so that we have stuff to wear during the physical move. And this is just, this is what life is like right now. Oh my goodness. I'm losing my voice and getting a sore throat. A constant wrench is in the works. That it turns out that the movers are not packing our stuff. They may provide boxes. So now suddenly, they're coming in the morning. We're just throwing everything in boxes and everything that's gonna end up at the apartment, we're responsible for. So at least it's been set aside and my husband's doing the majority of the grunt work while I focus on keeping the kids alive and fed. Um, here we go. Really just looking forward to tomorrow being over. Because once all the stuff is in the boxes, oh no. Once all the stuff is in the boxes, it's like, you know, whether the right stuff got packed or not, it's over, you know? And then we just move on, we'll have one night in a hotel, and then we move into a new place, settle in, and just move yeah, on. Yeah. Good job. <laughs> there is so much going on today and an un not insignificant portion of my brain is being taken up by this fingernail it's driving me nuts and all of my nail clippers are packed away thank you It's packing day. We um, don't have a fridge. I have like a little splash of creamer left. It's been sitting in the defrosting freezer all night. Should be fine. We've got this. We've got some frozen burger patties and frozen burger buns. And I was gonna throw away, but we might just try to eat them for lunch. If our pots and pans are not already packed up. <laughs> the kids are with the babysitter today so that they are not underfoot. Um, well, except for the one who's in school, obviously. And hopefully we're done before three when I have to pick her up and then we'll uh, move on. I think I'm, I, I think I'm gonna feel a lot better about life in a few hours. The Packers are here. Um, I don't wanna like film them too much, so you're just gonna have to imagine it. But um, here, let me get you some before and after shots. I expected packing day to be pretty involved, but turns out that once they got there, we pretty much had to stay out of the way, which meant I had to intentionally hit the brakes, slow down. I um, had some ground cherries that needed harvesting, so that's what I did. I sat down, I harvested all the ground cherries, peeled them, um, and then stood around for a while. I tried taking a walk to see if that would kill some time, but uh, it didn't really. This is the same walk that I took when I was trying to uh, induce labor with all three of my kids. So one last couple of laps around the neighborhood was, you know, it, it brought back memories, but there was not a lot to do on packing day. Nothing to do at home right now until the movers are done and out of the way. Then we can pack the pantry and um, put stuff in the car to take to. My in-laws to sleep tonight in the hotel to sleep on Friday. I hope you can hear me over the sound of the car because I have no voice. Anyway, there's nothing for me to do. I was literally standing around. I took a walk around the block, but now um, I'm going to go hang out with our friend who's watching our kids. They're making pavlova. So let's go do that instead. Yeah, that's right. And then this guy goes in here. Your sister? Wait, the seal is your sister? Or the seal is for Agnes? Because she's going to get her own kinder egg tomorrow. And it'll say, I miss you, love Agnes. Wait, the seal is your sister? What's her name? Pinty? Hi, Pinty. You know how I'm... um not brave enough to vlog except when I'm in a room alone. Um, I'm hanging out with my friend 
who I've known for four years and never mentioned to her that I have a YouTube channel. So if she ever finds this, <laughs> I'm at her house, but she went to go get her daughter from school. Um, my kids are sleeping and fortunately she's here and she's able to offer this space for us to wait. Um, my husband is back at home with the movers and he says it's going to be another couple hours um, that they are working on stuff. They're packing everything up today. I, I'm sure I've mentioned this already. I don't remember. <laughs> um, but there's really nothing that I can be doing. Once they're done and gone, we have to pack up our pantry. All of our like shelf-stable food and, and some other kitchen things are in there. Um, so today is... Well, I mean, I have other things I can be stressing about later. But not right now. Right now, I'm forced to be calm. Um, <clears throat> I got um, my daughter's little treats she's giving away kinder eggs um as a going away present for her class so i was able to like write a little note for each one um instead of just like handing the teachers a bag with some boxes of kinder eggs that they had to unpackage themselves i pulled them all out i put a little note that says i'll miss you love agnes um so that's better and that's done fortunately i was able to use my friend's craft supplies because she's also quite crafty and uh that wasn't a problem so it's just great to have a village, you know? Um, she was just gonna watch our kids, but since I had nothing else to do, I she's watching me too. <laughs> Where are we going, Bridget? Uh, uh, to, pick up. to pick my thing up from school. Did you know that the, um, the people came to put all of our stuff in boxes today? And they're done now, so all of our stuff is in boxes. But after I pick up Manang, I'm gonna take her back to Mimi's house, okay? And you and get to play with Mimi and Manang and Dominic for a couple hours while I finish packing up all of our food. Okay? Is that okay? And my pickles. And your pickles. Yes, I have to make sure to pack all the pickles. And my carrots. And the carrots, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Watch your hair. Dominic wants some too. Dominic is gonna grab your hair. Cheers oh, to Oh, you want your own plate? Oh, okay. Cheers to Mimi for the Pavlova. Happy Friday. Um, our oldest is at her last day of school. She brought Kinder Eggs. Um, we stayed to go to Mass. Uh, and they're, the movers are moving or they're loading up all of the boxes today. I just swung by and said hi. Um, but my job today. Oh, I'm talking to my friends on the video. Do you want to say hi? Hi. <laughs> well, uh, my husband's job today is sort of supervising and just being the person with the key. And my job is just making sure that the kids stay alive. Um, so we're going to go to library story time, I think, um, and then that's, you know, for one last time. And then we're checking into the hotel tonight. Um, check-in time is at four, but we'll see if we have an early check-in or not. It might not matter because it'll be nap after the library. So it's a pretty chill day, all things considered. And I just found out that tomorrow, Saturday, we can't check in until four o'clock, um, to the apartment. I guess because the uh, the furnishers will be there, the uh, uh, what's it called? Furniture rental people will be there, setting everything up. So it's a it's like a lot going on, but it's re surprisingly chill. But I'm realizing after all of the packing, just how like even just the small apartment that's already furnished, how much is going to be work? I think just to get everything unloaded and organized away. So I'm trying to take advantage of. This moment of calm for these few days uh, where other people are doing the work and uh, just you know appreciate it. Oh 
Oh, yeah, I love egg on a sandwich. Ooh, and cheese. Is that a good breakfast sandwich? But I don't like onions. No. Oh, by the way, I found a nail file and dealt with my thumb. You're right. What else? Your car is safe. It's safe in storage. After Christmas. Yeah. Off to pick up my daughter from her last day at her school. She's been pretty heartbroken about it, kind of on and off. She's honestly was like kind of excited for her last day because she knows that means she gets a Kinder Egg because she's bringing Kinder Eggs as a treat for her class, which is just silly. Um, but you know, it's the things like the things that these kids have decided to latch on to. It's been really interesting. Um, we have this. Uh, like drivable slash remote control um, car that the kids can ride in. It technically was a gift to our older daughter, but, and we, it keep, stays in the garage. It's get, been ridden maybe like three times over. Um, but it got found, you know, in the midst of all the cleaning and our second daughter kind of latched onto it. Um, and she was riding it around a little bit, just like inside the house, running it under the walls and whatever. And that was like the one thing that she has been asking about throughout this packing process. And unfortunately, I had to tell her it's safe in storage and we'll get to it after Christmas. But um, yeah, so breaking our kids' hearts over the little things and some things that we just can't control. Um, there's not room for a rideable child-sized Lamborghini in an apartment. <clears throat> and... Um, and we've got to take her out of school to go to a new school and it's tough but I think if, you know four years old is as good an age as, as many to uh, to get a new group of friends I think she'll get over it probably faster than we're ready for her to because it's been really great to see the relationship she's building with the friends she has here but I know that she will make just as great friendships wherever she goes because she's that kind of person um, it's, it's always funny the things that she'll tell us. Like I, I found out, um, just this morning as like, I was about to drop her off in Carline that the teacher um, was having the classmates write little notes for her. And that was very sweet. Then we saw our babysitter for, I think the last time, I don't know if I'll run into her to pick up or not. Um, and she got to say goodbye again to the little ones it's bittersweet but um, I think once we get down there all the bitterness will be kind of able to be put to one side for a while when we get acclimated um, my parents are so excited to be living closer to us so I think their excitement will be a little bit contagious and we'll get to see them tomorrow uh, but for now the, the hotel check-in is ready, uh, but I have to go get our oldest first. Um, number two is napping. Number three could probably do for one, honestly. But um, my husband's at my in-law's house with the sleeping kid, and uh, after we do pick up, then we'll go check into the hotel. And uh, I think we get to expense dinner tonight, so we'll do something fun. Do you like that, Agnes? Yeah. Do you like it when the lights change color? Yeah. Is this making your evening? Yeah. Is this the best thing that's happened to you all day? Yeah. <laughs> Even so better than working. horsey rides? Yeah. I can Even better than uh, parachute at PE? No, that was the funnest parachute ball. 
Yeah. You got to play parachute? Yeah, yeah we got to play with the parachute and bounce the walls. And bounce ball on the ball. Yeah, they the ball on the parachute. So cool. What color were you holding? Happy Saturday. It's uh, the official moving of people day. This is our hotel room. Um, we're chilling for a while because um, we can't physically check into the apartment until like four. And uh, me and my daughter are going to a, um, a birthday party at one. My own cover shoe. Oh, I'm sorry, sweetie. It's a classmate's party, so she gets to see some of her friends for the last time uh, before we go down. Are you excited for the apartment? Yeah. Yeah? I'm excited for the apartment, What do you think we'll have? Do you think we'll have a bathtub? Uh, yeah, bath do you want bomb. Any bath bomb tonight? Bath bomb in my bath. Okay, you've got to be careful not to step on your brother. <laughs> a fun party, huh? Yeah. Do you know where we're headed next? Um, Are you okay? I want to go to our new house. Oh, where do you want to go? I just want to sleep at this hotel. Oh, we only have the hotel for last night? Excited to see what it looks like? No. Oh? Because I'm worried it won't have a bath. Oh, I think it will. I think it will. <laughs> Give me a burger, Dad. I want a burger. <laughs> I made you let go. You can't uh, have my glasses, only my hair. <laughs> okay. And then, um, uh, all right, we'll go with that. Uh, Welcome home. Oh, thank you, mommy and love. And yeah, that's, uh, it's been a heck of a week. Mm -hmm. Not yeah. great for a relationship. Nope. <laughs> so, you know, we haven't had a solid fight in a while. No. Yeah, so I think that's good. <laughs> Come on. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Good morning. Good it's, morning. We're good scientists who count from zero. So t it's day one in the apartment. And we've got some tea here because we didn't pack coffee. Uh, I said everything was provided. I thought a good American company would provide us with some coffee. Um, but they did not. So. We have to do some grocery shopping today. We have to do some, a Target I, run. But who are I talking to? My friends in the video. And, and Hi. A and a storage run. Hi. And a Target run. And we have to Hi. do some menu planning. We should look at what's in there. I, I think it's just a colander with paper in the video. Yeah, thank you. They're very happy to hear that. But they can't see you because you're not wearing clothes. So we're settled in a little, well we're not settled in at all. We've got boxes everywhere, but that's what my project is this week. Yeah, does it look like we've lived here for one day or for one year? It's a mess. Um, but you know, that's what I'm used to. Anyway, this is my new job now. So I have to organize this house, unpack everything. Um, I basically just asked my husband to take care of his own clothes so that I don't have to be tripping over them. And this is what I'm going to be doing this week. And I'm going to bring you along with me. I think I'm going to keep vlogging for the next week. Um, he right now is off at a storage unit, um, putting some of his collectibles in a storage unit. So those will not be taking up the living room anymore. Thank goodness. Today, Sunday, I'm focusing on the kitchen um, because we're going to need a kitchen. And I think the clothes, I already packed like our suitcases um, for like, the transition and we should have clothes um, I know like my daughter's uniform and all that 
um, are easily accessible, uh, even if it's not like pretty, um, through at least tomorrow, Monday. So um, tomorrow I'll do clothes, if I can get the kitchen done today, and we'll, then we'll just take it one zone at a time. I also try to want to try to, you know, have a little bit of relaxation downtime and sort of exploring today or this week. I mean, um, my sister goes back to work after maternity leave, like next Wednesday. So I want to get together with her. I want to check out the library that we're living next to. Um, and it's just, yeah, it's never a dull moment, right? Currently the girls are taking a bath, like instead of eating lunch, um, whatever enjoying themselves. I think you're more likely to get messy if you drink it with a spoon. All right, I hear some raspberries coming from the other room. You're awake. Good morning, big boy. Hi. You're awake. Did you sleep good? Yeah. Good morning. My husband just left for his first day at his new job. And that makes this my like first day as a stay-at-home mom with, you know, without help. I'm still in my pajamas. Getting everybody fed and ready for our day. We're gonna be leaving in probably about half an hour. Nutella for breakfast is a habit we're going to have to temper soon. A lot of things like this, just getting calories into our children's mouths have been just something that we take the easy route over the last few weeks throughout the stress of the move. Right now we physically don't have a lot of options in the house for breakfast. She turned down yogurt, which usually is an easy win. But so far so good, honestly. Got the backpack back. because they work too. But I'm not working anymore so that I can do mommy drop off and mommy pick up and so that I can be Bridget and Dominic's babysitter. I get to take care of you all the time. Like every day? Yeah, like every day. Your sister? Who were you talking to before? Oh, my friend in the video. I'm so sorry, kiddo. Oh, big boy. I'm so sorry. Oh. I have to help your sister get dressed. have at this playground? Uh, uh, I don't know. Slides or something? <laughs> yeah, slides or something, probably. Here we go. Woo! You did it! Uh, no, we're not going in the car. Uh, yeah. Remember we walked here? We can walk home. <laughs> we're going to figure out this uh, Carrying of grocery stuff while pushing this from our seat. <laughs> but we live within walking distance. Uh, 
of a grocery store. We just had to run an errand and return a modem here are you. to the UPS here. store. My friend's on the video. Hi. Uh, so now I am heavily, heavily laden with groceries. We're headed home. Uh, afternoon. We have a couple hours still before we have to pick up Big Sister. Uh, the middle one's asleep. I got all of, I think, I got all of the girls' uh, clothes unpacked. I'm probably going to find, like, a box that I didn't realize was closed at some point. Um, of, of these three boxes sitting here, um, I know what's in two of them. I, I don't know about the third. We'll see. <laughs> I'm sort of trying to work on my own clothes, but then this little guy keeps wanting to do things like eat and get snuggles. Yeah? You have needs? Are you going to help me unpack? He helped me hang some stuff in the closet. Um, and I think I still have to like un you know, fold some stuff into drawers. But I think we're going to fit. I think everything's going to fit into like the the drawers and closets that are here. Um, there's a little concern as we were unloading everything and it felt like a lot, but uh, there's storage here, which isn't bad. And I think once, uh, I really just wanna get all of the like boxes out of the living area, then I'll be able to like tidy up and it'll feel homey. Um, but today's uh, goal was just to get all of the clothes away so that we can all get dressed tomorrow um, and then we might go for like tomorrow. We might hang out with my sister and her son and baby daughter. Um, we were going to go to the park, but it might rain tomorrow. So that's kind of in the air, but it's slow, slow progress, but we're so far, it's been a pretty good day. You know, a few, uh, one potty accident, some, uh, the meltdowns over lunch, but this guy took a good nap. We did the grocery run. Um, and yeah, those bags were very heavy, but I made it and we live right next to a grocery store. So that's very convenient. Dominic took two naps today. And Bridget took one nap today. You ate lunch. We had most of your slice of pizza, so that was good. And now, who are we on the way to go get? Mimi. Yes, big sister. Um, and then it'll be dark already, but we're gonna- um, Right here, I'm talking to you. My friends in the video. <laughs> you did. Then we're gonna go check out the library next to our apartment. Because I, um, I used to have a library card at this system back when I lived here uh, ten years ago. But I need to get a new library card, and we didn't pack a lot of books because we were living very minimally in this small space. Um, so we need to get some more um, bedtime story books. Because the only ones we brought are Christmas themed. Is this toy or not? Or not? No? Okay, Jeremy, let's go in there. Let's go in there. Most of the day it was raining so we didn't get a lot done we just had fun Wednesday we went to library story time and then we toured a house that we're interested in and that took up the chunk of our day so I've been putting things away here and there managing to stay on top of like you know things being relatively tidy the kids are getting into a bit of a routine of putting toys away minimalism with toys works and so I'm hoping that wherever we find our new place we'll have lots of toy storage so that we can keep a few out and a lot in storage but anyway today's Thursday and uh, we also are not doing any more unpacking today I guess the only thing left to unpack is like one box of stuff that like was on my dresser my makeup my hair stuff um, a lot of the stuff that like is for videos is gonna live in a box under the side table behind the couch um, because there's not space I'm gonna have to take it out 
you make stuff in a batch and put it away. But anyway, today, Thursday, and I'm sorry about this lighting, whatever, I'm driving. Um, today we're going to my parents' house. They have a garden that my dad grows stuff in the summer, but he's never done a winter garden before. I love my homegrown salads um, and miss my garden at home. So I'm going to be doing some weeding today um, and sort of prepping of garden beds, possibly if things go well. Um, popping a couple of peas in the ground um, and getting stuff ready to do a little bit of winter gardening at my parents' house. They're like a 15 minute drive from me. I'll have to ask them to be in charge of watering. Um, but then they get to harvest salads from their, their yard whenever they want. And I get to have all of the uh, Caesars that I want. Do love me some fresh garden romaine. It's just so much better. I don't know why. It's so good. Anyway, that's what we're doing today. Hard manual labor, wearing a t-shirt instead of a blouse. And uh, uh, we'll see how we're gonna entertain the kids. Wish me luck. I almost forgot to take some before footage. So this bed wasn't too bad. I just sort of flattened it out a little bit. Had a couple of weeds in it. It looks like I missed one. This bed had a lot of weeds in it. I started pulling out some from this side. I'm gonna get all the dandelions and then I'll hoe down all these little, I don't know what they're called. This bed still has a basil plant, so I'm gonna keep that there. Um, and just get rid of a couple weeds, move those tomato cages somewhere. And then this bed here has a bunch of extra dirt that was taken out of that bed, which is being turned into a, uh, a shed. So this one needs a lot of cleanup. I'm gonna distribute this dirt elsewhere to kind of raise the level a bit, um, cause I think it's all fine garden dirt. And then there's some compost in here that I can spread before we start planting some seeds. And the plan, if I didn't already say, is salad greens like lettuce, um, also like kale, collards. Um, I got some free Mizuna seeds from um, Baker Creek that I wanna may as well plant since it's the season for it. Um, do some roots, you know, carrots and radishes. And I'll try beets again. I think I spaced them too close and that was the issue last time. Um, and some peas. Um, there's a trellis over here that, see it's got the piping, but it needs uh, the part in the middle, like the netting. Cause I guess that needs to be replaced after a while and it fell apart. So I'm gonna put some netting in or, and uh, get peas going. I have officially, officially written off any kind of heading brassica. So no cabbage, no, no cabbage. Brussels sprouts, no Brussels no sprouts, right? And no broccoli or cauliflower because it's too, the, our season isn't long enough for it. Um, and I've gotten terrible aphids, at least at our last property. <laughs> I'm picking the Why are you doing that? You're doing what to my friends? Picketing. You're picketing them? <laughs> yep. So we're not going to do anything that heads, but we'll do loose leaf. Picketing. Things like kale. Picketing. Picketing. I like cooked kale. Yeah, I like collard greens. We're going to fresh fish. My fresh is, fish messy. Oh no, why'd you get my face messy? Mm. Are you going to help me weed? Nope. Nope. What a lovely day. Hello, we're working on seeds. So we got all of the soil sort of leveled and um, compost added. So what we're gonna do is, like I said, we've got these trellis frames that we're gonna add netting to. So the back of this one and this one are all shelling peas. But on this side, we've got kale and mustard greens and collard greens. And this one we've got um, radishes, carrots, and beets. And then in the front is spinach. Um, and we're sort of in the middle of it. I'm gonna do some herbs and miscellaneous things in here. And then that one will be lettuce. Um, and I'm having a little mid-morning snack of all of the baby puffs that fell on the ground. <laughs>
This is the latest episode of obsessing over my nails. They're all dirty, but it's for a good reason. How are you doing today? Pretty good, you? Doing good, thank you. Awesome. Um, can we get um, a double-double with raw onions? Sure We've been invited over for dinner, so we're just gonna hang out here most of the day. I still have to go get Big Sister, but they're taking their naps here at my parents' house. Um, he took his all morning long, let me go get stuff done in the garden, which was great. And then his, uh, the middle child is sleeping right now, at least I think she is. So we're just hanging out down here. So the last couple of clips have been getting a bit more sporadic as things have been settling slightly into something resembling routine. Last week, um, between all of the unpacking, we did a lot of um, leaving the house for like whole days at a time. So. I feel like, uh, yeah, it's been it's been crazy, but fun. Um, I wanted to wrap this up, this vlog, uh, with a little goodbye clip and sort of show you a little bit of a tour, but I realized I can't wait until everything is tidy. So um, you're just going to appreciate with me the floor beds that my two-year-old has left for the family. I think that one was her big sister's. Hers, that's the towel she left. Oh no, that was my bed. She brought her little place silk with her to take an actual nap, and then that one over there is for her daddy when he comes home from work. And we've got these turtle steps that are taking up room in our living room. We're having fun today. Um, and then this is all of the laundry that uh, has accumulated and needs to be folded. And over here, you can see I finally got both kids to nap at the same time. So I'm going to film a couple of videos because I still am planning to do that with my time. <laughs> I hope we're about 60%, 70% of the way through in Kanto. So it's a pretty good day. The poor baby, he uh, had like three false naps, like where he just, he kept crying and he wouldn't fall asleep. Didn't finally get to sleep until noon. Um, she's asleep and I'm going to take advantage. But uh, I just want to say goodbye. Um, thank you for following me on this journey. So far, the move has been pretty good. Pretty, I guess, as stress-free as possible. Um, Things are kind of minimal with like what we brought, so it wasn't too hard to unpack everything. But um, yeah, now the next step is like to find a house and I will, you know, bring you along and keep you updated along the way there. But um, hope you enjoyed today's video. Subscribe so you don't miss more updates in our life and I'll see you guys in the next video on Thursday. Bye.